so uh, got my old chopping block here and I thought I'd do a little test on uh, timber that you can't really split in half. Um, it's American sweet gum, which is notorious for being difficult to split in half. You, you slab pieces off of it. So we got the 1800s. We're representing the 1800s. We're representing the mall, the super mall. Um, you can see the difference. This is four and a quarter. This is six and three quarter. So pretty heavy compared to this one. It's going to be really fun to see what it's like going from the heavy to the not so heavy. Let's, let's keep going. Let's do a little more comparisons with the Super Mall. Plum Tazzy from the mid 1940s. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Not bad at all. So this one's uh, it's actually three pounds, 15 ounces, so it's a little short of four pounds. And then lastly, we got the American Axe. It's a little thin up, it's a little thin, but still pretty good uh, splitter. Isn't that crazy? So this one's four and a quarter as well. We'll start with the Super Bowl. Might be a good idea to move this a little bit. Oh, wow. Uh, as you can see, there's already a little piece missing. So let's use that to our advantage. Oh, man, that's easy. <laughs> oh, man, that is fun. I did not think when I, I, I was thinking you don't need a big a, a big one, a big axe. I like using a tinier one, but that makes it easy. That makes it really easy. Wow, that's impressive. We'll do another one with this and then we'll switch. Okay. Let's go to the other 30, uh, 36 inch handle. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Oops. I, I, this sweet gum is so short that I was kind of right. A small size isn't, doesn't make a big difference, honestly. But still 36 inch channel, so let's keep going. You can tell I don't usually use a chopping block. Let's go to the American Axe. We're going down in handle size every time. Okay. That was the first time we kind of got stuck there. Not in a bad way stuck. But I mean it didn't just easily finish the job off. A few more. See if it was a it was an anomaly. Uh, again, I'm not swinging very hard with these. See, there's a knot eventually that I'll have to deal with. At least one. We'll switch to the uh, super mall for that. Okay, so we got the American accent. Let's see what the high test does on a small handle. It's like 27 inches now probably this has <clears throat> this is the chubbiest axe probably the best splitting profile it's just a tad light but the thing about the short handle is i can be in tight spaces and still split that's see that's really nice okay that's where the knot is that would have been stuck a lot worse with the, uh, I think it would have been stuck a lot worse with the other two, other than this Super Mall. Whoops. Let's see what the Super Mall does. 
Whoa. <laughs> it didn't get stuck. I missed though. Totally missed. It's a little tight. That was me trying to split off the old one. Okay. So the knot's right here. We can still keep going. Wow. Split off a different piece than what it hit. That piece must have been ready to go. I'm gonna have to save. I might save some of this for wedges. I really love, if you didn't see the last video, this is an American sweet gum wedge. And uh, that's American sweet gum I'm splitting. So I'm thinking maybe I gotta save some of that. It's kind of a nuisance tree. It drops a spiky ball. Isn't that impressive that the super mall sticks in red oak? Red oak's not the easiest uh, easiest wood to put your to put an axe in the end grain with. What are you doing, bud? <laughs> Get going, buddy. Get going. You pat your dog on the butt to tell him to go. It's different than in baseball or like sports where you pat someone on the butt for doing a good job. You just pat him in the butt to like. Get along, little doggy. <laughs> uh, he's having a nice time. He's chewing something up. All right, now this this knot is bigger than I thought. It's all the way all the way to my middle finger. So let's see if we could kind of go below, uh, alongside it. Kind of be like splitting it in the middle. Whoa, that was easy. Wow, that's pretty wood. Let me show you. It almost looks like it has medullary rays, but it does not at all. You see this kind of shiny things in there? It's hard to see, maybe. But yeah, this is pretty. It smells nice. I like it. I used to compare it to kind of like oaks. Here's a, a lightning bug. What do you guys call them? Firefly or lightning bug? I don't call them firefly after watching that movie Grave of the Fireflies. <laughs> you don't, don't watch that movie. Oh man. Isn't the worst like so there's the worst things in human history. It's like, you know, wars. And then there's you think about, oh, children in wars. And that's that movie. <laughs> it's animated. I know that that might turn a few people off. I'm telling you, don't watch it. My friend used to call it Grave of the Fire, the Crier Flies, <laughs> something like that. So I'm going to go against the knot. We'll see what happens. Now, I haven't tried to get it unstuck yet. Any other axe, this would be a bitch to unstick. <laughs> That's beautiful. I think I might be able to split this. Same way. So yeah, it did split off a tiny piece. Let's see if we can keep going. Let's try to do it in half again. This might not work. Wow. That's fun. Look how pretty this is. Wavy. So they call it satin walnut American sweet gum because the light colored sapwood and the uh, dark heartwood. They call the heartwood red gum, which you're not getting a lot of red in this one, but there's some very, very red American sweet gum heart, uh, heartwood out there. You can see some real cool color in there. This is like grayish green, black, gray, kind of like an orangey red. Not sure if you could see the colors, but this one's a little muted, but it would still make pretty uh, wedges. The, the, so with wedge woods, you know, you're pretty much just balancing out. Either it has cool designs or it has cool color. Um, it usually isn't the both, I've found. Elm, I think, has some prettiness to it and nice dark color. But like walnut's very plain. Uh, 
Man, this is easy with the super mall. I, I do like it. I do like it for Suico. Because now I'm barely, I was barely even, that's nice to do. That's nice to just let it fall down. <laughs> Did you see? I literally just let it fall down. Watch. That was a miss, but let's just let the mall fall. You know what? Let's bring it all the way up and let it fall. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Let's see if we can keep doing that. This piece has a little bit of a, a knot in it. Okay, I, I pushed down a little bit. Not pushed, I, I guided it a little bit. Once again, you see how easy it is? Now, if I were to try to, I should have probably showed you trying to split it in half. I do have another sweet gum round, but it's supposed to be a chopping block for a friend who's coming to grab it eventually. This is all split up though, all this sweet gum. And uh, I don't really burn this uh, in a way that's like, oh, I love this stuff. This, I just, <clears throat> I just hope to use it as lumber. And if I have to split it, I burn it for heat. That's it. I don't cook with it. Ooh, that's a knot. Okay, so this would be a very stuck axe. Let's, let me show you that. You know what? Let's show that. Same place. We'll use the American axe, which is a little sticky sometimes. Now I'll have to like punch it off like that if it doesn't split. See? I had to work. I didn't have to work too hard. It wasn't too stuck. Let's go back to the Super M. It does have an M on it. <laughs> wow, that was weird. You see how the axe is kind of going? It's kind of deflecting. I'm not doing any flicks in this video. The edge is a little uneven. And now that I rested it, it's a little uh, bent. Not a problem for splitting, but not good for cross cutting. Yeah, you see it's going in it's going in like that so I'll, I'll fix that i did notice that uh maybe the uh the, the toe is a little uh fatter on one side so won't be a big fix whoa that's a knot for you <laughs> let's show you that knot oh boy that's a nasty one. So this is where the knot stops. And this is where the knot is. It's nasty. Alright. Just uh, wanted to do a little splitting with some of my favorite splitters and the new one. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? You think that it's worth it to even bring the mall out? I mean, the uh, yeah, the mall. The super mall. Or do you think, uh, you know, you don't, unless you need it, why bring it out? It's just extra weight. I'm not tired from doing that, and I was using the Super Mall mostly. I don't know, I felt pretty good. What do you guys think?